Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day. And in today's video, we're going to be building a sugarcane farm. Now, this sugarcane farm is going to be built here on the Bedrock Edition, but if you guys want a Java Edition, I will try to link the exact same farm that I've built on the Java Edition in the comments down below, or in the description down below as well. And hopefully I remember to do that. If I don't, then please be kind and actually let me know about that if you guys are looking for the Java edition. Now, for the most part, this farm is very similar or pretty much the same as the Java edition. The biggest difference is going to be the unloading station. Um, I figured this out over here. I, I don't know if it's anybody else's design. I didn't look it up. I was able to figure it out on my own uh, so far. And the sugarcane farm itself is exactly the same as the one that I have originally built. I know this is not my design. I don't know who the original creator is, but if you guys happen to know who the original creator is, leave a comment down below so they can get the credit for it. But I honestly, I, I have no idea at this point in time. So let's go ahead and I guess look into my eyes and let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the chest here so we can see everything that needs to be built. Now I've built this into three or put this into three different sections for you guys. The first one is gonna be what you're gonna need per slice of the sugarcane farm so if you want 50 blocks long or make this 50 blocks total you're going to need 50 times the resources in order to make that happen obviously you just need an infinite water supply nearby you don't need 50 water buckets by any means the second section is going to be just some additional materials if you build it exactly the way that i built the farm here um this world then it will be exactly what's needed otherwise you might need more depending on how big of a farm that you make and then last but not least is going to be the nine pieces that are di nine different areas that you're going to need for pieces for the unloading station. So there you go. So I'll just kind of sit here for just a second so you can see everything that you're going to need in order to actually get this up and built. All right, let's go ahead and break this and let's go ahead and start building. The first thing that you actually want to do is just dig a little bit of a trench. It doesn't really matter where you place it and you can make it as long as you would like. Now, what you want to do down here is just go ahead and place in a um, some of your rails, and then you're going to take a redstone um, block here. And what you want to do is just go ahead and place that down below. Make sure that all the rails are powered, and then you're just going to go all the way to the very end over here. Now, wherever your farm is kind of ending at, you need to come in by two blocks because this is where the minecart hopper hopper micro will actually be unloaded there and then we're just going to go ahead and fill that all along the top there and then whatever decoration blocks you're using you don't need to necessarily use stone um smooth stone for this you can use whatever you would like we're going to kind of create something like that we're going to grab our infinite water source we're going to go ahead and place that down in here just like that. So now that you've actually created your water trench here, now what you want to do is just go ahead and make a row of whatever block you're building this out of along the bottom of there. Uh, so that it's kind of above the water. And then you can place down your sugar cane. And hopefully it doesn't grow at this point in time. And then you want to grab your regular pistons, not a sticky piston, and then just go ahead and place them along the top of each of those stone. What you're going to do now is come around to the back side and then go ahead and place observers facing towards this front. And then the redstone signal will actually come out the back side here. And then what you want to do from here is just go ahead and place a block row of whatever block you're building out of. And then you want to put a redstone dust behind all of them. Now you don't necessarily have to have observers in every single spot if you don't want to, if you want to be able to save some of your resources. Um, but it's up to you what you guys would like to do. Just know that if you happen to delete this one, then if this one grows all the way up, then you're going to be waiting for all the other ones. But it again, it's coming up, up to you what you guys would like to do. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and grab our glass blocks because we're going to actually going to encase the farm. And what we're going to do here is go on the side. And then we're also going to go ahead and go around the side just like that. And you want to build it up three high. Making sure that you don't put the glass above the, uh, the sugar cane because that would be bad. And we're just going to go ahead and fill this all in. And just like that. And what you're going to do on here for the unloader, now that the regular farm is actually all done, 
All right, so let's go ahead and build the unloading station here. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and place in a double chest right here, like so. We're going to go ahead and place a, uh, a hopper right there. And then what we want to do here is place in a hard rail right there. And then we want to grab our regular rails and then place them there. And then I'm not sure why it's not connecting. There we go. And then behind this, we actually want to go ahead and put our comparator. Facing that way. And then it's going to go into a block with a redstone on the top. With a block on the top of that. And then on the side facing towards where the comparator is at. And then you're going to go ahead and place a redstone dust at the top right there. So now what you need to do is just grab your hopper minecart, go ahead and throw that in there. And then what we can do is we can actually simulate this growing real quickly. And we'll just go ahead and do that. And we can throw a couple extra pieces in there for good measure. And what you're going to see is going to happen is it's going to actually go ahead and unload over there. And then once it's actually done unloading, it's going to send it on its way. And we'll come back. And then as soon as it's repowered again, it will power up and then send it back down. And then when there's nothing to pick up, it will just continuously go back and forth. And this is where you're going to go ahead and grab your lever here. And you're going to put it right on this block right here at the bottom. And then you can actually go ahead and flick that down and power it. And then that will unpower the redstone torch, unpower the redstone dust, and then unpower the hopper minecart and the rail there. And that's pretty much all you guys need to do. And that is everything for this build. It's actually very, very, very simple to actually go ahead and build. I highly recommend it for your red, uh, for your, any of your worlds, whether you're on survival or an SMP or anything like that, or a realm, I guess, in Bedrock. But hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.